after getting the mid surface the next step uh, that can be done is editing those lines or nodes uh, or surfaces that we have got in mid surface so this is one example of mid surface there can be many so i'll open a new example now this time this file can be stored uh, by using this button over here and then there are multiple options for that saving session or saving model uh, both can suffice saving model is usually a better idea because we want to keep the model handy and session uh, will be uh, storing many other uh, parts of information but hypermesh model happens to be a good enough format for storing the geometry data so i can either save the model or i can hit new then I can open a model which has been created for you guys. This is essentially the same model just uh, saved in HM format. So when I open this file, I see that there are a few red lines. As usual, I'll get rid of those red lines by using quick edit panel and toggling those edges using some tolerance if they are out of tolerance it will show as an error uh, in this particular box so in that case we can increase the tolerance and suppress those edges which are going around now to get a mid surface for any surface the most important point is that you have to get a close surface and that is why you need to first toggle the edges so to toggle the edges quickly I'll do the toggling now right now because I had still add or remove feature on now when I'm trying to click this edge uh, I'm getting the message couldn't stitch because the cab is too high in that case because I still want to connect them together or connect those edges together I'll put the tolerance value over here as 3.5 and under lines I can now see that uh, there is a proper surface and now it can be used for for the meshing so now uh, apart from mid surfacing and in fact let me quickly toggle those edges again some issue with the gap i'll get a new value for the gap and then i can make the surface connect with each other so now I have a closed surface hopefully so if I go to mid surface option I can select that surface and I'll hit extract now I see the progress over here so when I hit mid surface I get a new component and it has the mid surface component out of out of the current component now I have to first hit return button the next one of the geometry and i can keep only middle surface component on right clicking i can get many options i can rename that to modified name and apart from that i can make it current so that whatever changes i make i'll make it in my version of the surface now i see that there are many many places where we can remove the edges uh, which are not required so in this case i see that this line connecting over here it may not make much sense uh, highlighting that as uh, as a part of uh, AFA study over here so uh, those lines can be toggled and that should be perfectly fine with your solver for the practices as long as it is being captured properly so after getting the mid surface we have few more features to be explored so now nodes node option will help me create nodes anywhere in this particular model so node can be created with some coordinates given such as if i hit create so i see that the temporary node or that node has been created at this particular location then if i click on this button as node and then i click on that node and first of all hit return then go back to nodes If I hit uh, create, then it will create a node at the origin, global origin. So from this key takeaway is that, uh, well, a node can be created using coordinate access uh, 
or or its xyz coordinates and if i click as node and then if i click on some particular node i'll get to see those coordinates again in node creation there are then there are other ways of doing it it is all about the user preferences how they want their model to be defined and if if that is optimized then many things can be so as my next point this option over here, it will help me create a node at particular point. So if I click this and if I hit create, it will create a node over there uh, on that particular point. Though I don't have any significance for this hole. So right now I'll go to shift F2, which has a shortcut and then I'll hit clear all. So such all such nodes will be cleared off inside nodes. And there are other options as well uh, in this one. As the name suggests, you only have to select an arc and that arc can be selected using some nodes. So this node, now I just created one node over here, but I cleared it. So I can still drag my mouse on that edge and I can select that node. Apart from that, node interpolation is another option. I can simply select a line and then I can tell how many nodes I want there. And it will create those many number of nodes. I'll hit reject. Node edit will give us an option to associate a node uh, to a surface or moving nodes around using uh, using coordinate features such as vector or and many other things uh, in FEA models. Then placing node or remapping nodes, those are very similar operations. So remapping node, what it will do is, so now this node list, I can say that uh, for line, please, please remap then, uh, remap them to this line and let's see what happens. Apart from that, align node will only uh, align the nodes between the first two selected nodes. So all nodes can be aligned and then that way uh, many edges can be straightened out. So we'll quickly move to the lines and lines edit. So to create a line uh, for creating any geometrical feature, now let's say in this case, let's toggle this feature first of all, and then let's get rid of this feature itself. So to create a line, just like nodes, I can simply put uh, coordinates of uh, start and end node, and that will simply give a direction where to create that line. Then this option will allow us to create lines on the go by selecting a, a pair of nodes. So let's say if I have this line on selection board or uh, on the selection group I can hit create and I'll see a line being created over there the selector has come back to the edge because uh, well as the symbol suggests you can create multiple points there and then I'll hit create so even I have another uh, then extending a line or creating a cre uh, offsetting a line from one particular edge uh, those are those are other operations uh, possible using these and exploring them is very easy. You simply click on that particular picture and you'll see what it is for. So right, for now, for example, this is midline. So you just need to so after creating lines uh, and to select two sets of lines, first of all, what I'll do is I'll select a group of lines and for second line list. All right. After that, uh, other features uh, include creating a line from mesh. So you select a shell mesh or you select some mesh and you select the edge of that mesh and that will create a line. That is another one uh, not useful right now since we don't have any mesh on the screen. From there, we can go to surfaces. Now, just like a CAD software, uh, basic surface can be created in many ways. You can uh, enter four points and create a surface between them using this uh, square option. A cylinder, well, it asks for the bottom, uh, bottom center and the normal vector for that particular cylinder, and then the base radius and height. So the first two boxes for locating the cylinder, uh, the base of it, and then uh, rest of the features. And then the base radius can be specified and the height can be specified. So apart from that, uh, other common useful features could be creating a spin or creating uh, or dragging along a vector so that uh, a part gets extruded. And in such cases, so in surfaces, well, this was about only one of the features. So, well, creating the surface from mesh is another way of uh, 
going reverse engineering so you have an fea model and then you select the only the nodes and from those nodes it will create a surface and then that surface uh, can be useful for further fea uh, modeling so that's why there is from a few option and i can select elements or i can select nodes and i can that way create this particular surface out of them the surface edit feature happens to be one of the very useful features here this comes up many times after creating a mid surface we want to trim or we want to edit the surfaces in a way that uh, the geometry turns into the way we want it to so as of now what i see is that these points are way too closely located may not be required to locate them so close so for that i'll try to reduce the number of points over here now that means that the surface uh, or the fillet over here may not be properly captured but that is fine because uh, as long as i'm able to fit my mesh properly and keep keep the mesh flow i should be good and that's why toggling edges can also be an option now so after extracting mid surface now i'm editing the surface so that i have something uh, something to represent my mesh a surface can be trimmed with nodes or it can be uh, trimmed with uh, a list of nodes but the most popular options happen to be trimming a surface using a line so in here you first select a surface and then you select a free line such such are the lines which we deleted earlier while using the delete option how to delete those free lines that was one of the things that that was deleted so we can use those lines to split the surfaces and that could be perfectly fine trim with surfaces another useful feature a surface can be trimmed with another surface and a surface can also be trimmed with a plane so just to get a hang of this plane what i'll do is i'll select the surface and then i'll try to split it in a trans plane so or in fact surfaces than planes so if i want to split the surface using another surface i'll have to have some surface that is intersecting it uh, in a vertical fashion could be a normal or could be some conflict in some surfaces so in such cases you can use the other surface which is needed for this separation to be different so with this uh, i can select a surface uh, that can be used uh, to trim this particular surface and uh, as we go along uh, and we create or start creating mesh for 2d and 3d components uh, we'll keep using these features all the uh, time and again and that will give us some good practice to do that so for now what i'll try to do is uh, i'll just get this particular bracket ready for meshing and in that process i'll try to use as many features as possible so trimming with surface then there is untrim option just to undo that option it is more like an undo for previous three options so now we have created a surface or mid surface for a particular geometry and then from from this drawing over here and using the distance features that is f4 on the screen i can select what is the thickness of of two nodes or two points that thickness says 1.8 so for a 1.8 mm thickness component i have get i have got a mid surface and then if i so i'll keep both the surfaces switched on at a time and when i try to read the thickness it is 1.8 mm and in uh, surface edit i see that offset is not 1.8 but 2 mm so i'll keep it 0.9 so that the mid surface can be extracted anywhere so surface now you got major chunk of the surface i'll hit 0.9 as reference and then then i'll sh i can show how it offsets that particular screen i'll hit reject i'll see what can be done uh, using different offset values ultimately if you have a mid surface it's always easy to create the full cut surface out of it by either using meshing or by offsetting surfaces and creating a solid on your own apart from that extending a surface or shrinking a surface are also options available here so now in this demo what i'll try to do is so in this demo now i'll try to clean up 
few of the surfaces so first of all i'll press f11 and i'll uh, suppress this edge or toggle this edge apart from that using toggle button i'll toggle all these lines now if i keep those lines the element in that region uh, will be very small and that is something that we don't want right now if you imagine 2d meshing it will go until here particular fillet after that it becomes flat and then again it becomes uh, circular uh, or it looks like a fillet again so the best way to approximate this feature could be toggling all the lines and then let the mesh decide whether it is following the geometry properly or not so in that case i can stay on the toggle edge button and then i can get rid of unwanted features in that bedroom so same is the case with other two fillets i had this where i had suppressed only two lines now instead of just two lines i'll try to suppress all of them now i'll go and toggle this edge as well so i can simply select the lines by box and toggle from and select toggle mode on my computer or machine now i see that accidentally this edge got uh, toggled what I'll do is I'll right click on that and nothing happens. So I'll hit unsplit. So with this approximation, this geometry is pretty much ready for meshing. Apart from that, uh, now you can save this file with some name. But apart from that, the other important or interesting example. Now in this case, we have seen this example before we could delete those lines and then we created a mid to mid surface out of it that could be used for for further purposes or further usage now in general after creating a mid surface mid surface is first of all cleaned up and the cleaned up mid surface will be subject to meshing and only after that after meshing or focusing on model build while doing that of getting a mid surface and then editing the surfaces uh, by trimming unwanted lines or toggling unwanted lines and connecting surface becomes essential so with this, uh, we can conclude this particular class and the next class when we come back, we'll start 2D meshing. So for 2D meshing, essentially we'll be starting from geometry stage itself. So from geometry, we'll quickly get a mid surface and then we'll, we'll use surface editing features such as quick edit or edge edit and or D feature option. And uh, using that, we'll, uh, we'll get the surface ready for 2D meshing and then we'll mesh. So thank you for joining uh, this class and I'll see you again in the next class. Thank you.